Hey, Chris here. Today I want to take a look at the Transporter 40 from Osprey, a 40 liter duffel that retails for approximately $110. So very few times that I can remember have I received a bag and just have been completely blown away. So would love to get into this bag as far as looking at some exterior features, interior features, and then just giving some final remarks and overall impressions on the bag. So let's start by talking about some of the exterior features of this bag. So first, just the material the bag is made out of is that nice, lightweight, thick, durable material that we see on some other duffels. Uh, the first one that does come into mind is the North Face uh, Base Camp Duffel Series. So very similar, um, probably not as thick, but again, very, very close to that. And what I do like about this bag, opposed to other bags that I've looked at, is that this material is used throughout the whole bag. So even though this looks different on the bottom and even has a different feel, it's still exactly the same material from what I can tell. It's just on the bottom, it looks like they've turned it inside out. So it does give it a little bit different appearance, but again, the same top material here. So nice handles on this bag. It's gonna have a top grab handle. Um, you will have one on the bottom here and on both sides of the bag. So and even on the sides of the bag, there's gonna be some connection points here. And I like this because if there is something that you need to connect to your bag, it looks like you can easily do this. Or if you wanna attach this bag to another bag, or um, I've seen where some bags say you can put it on a roof rack or whatever, it looks like you do have the ability to do so. So again, you're gonna have one nice flap here. And just a couple of things about this is um, there will be a zipper on the top. When you unzip this, this is where you actually hide your backpack straps. And we'll definitely look at these a little bit more later. But before we do so, what's unique about this bag compared to some of the those other bags that I always mention like Patagonia or the North Face or Marmot or Eagle Creek or some of those other bags, um, this actually comes with a single shoulder strap. So, and to me this is very unique because some bags might offer the ability to maybe take a strap off and use maybe just one of those straps, backpack straps as a shoulder strap. This one comes with this already packaged and it does have two connection points on the bag if you can see this that is basically made specifically for this. And it does look like there's some nice padding on the shoulder strap. So I was very pleasantly surprised to see this. So, and again, this is very easy to remove. So, and for me, I probably would never use this or, or I guess I should say rarely use this, but I like the option. I like the, the, the versatility in this bag. So again, very easy to remove this. Uh, so a few other features on the bag here. Uh, it does come with one end pocket here. It's kind of hidden. So it does have the zip here and just a quick grab pocket, not very large, but um, definitely large enough to put if you had a battery or a charging cable or something that you just wanted to quickly grab out. Plus you'll also see a place for a luggage or an ID tag on the bag. So again, one large main compartment here, some nice zipper pulls and some heavy duty zippers on this bag. And another thing I like is that you have lockable zippers on this main compartment. So when you do unzip this, it is a little different than some other duffels. Um, very similar as far as how this opens to the trail kit, which is basically a very similar design. Uh, again, different features on that bag, but it does have, again, a very large opening to get inside this bag. So just to quickly touch on the shoulder straps or backpack straps here, they do hide away on the flap and these quickly can come out and they have the nice snaps here. So there are some connection points in here that you quickly snap into place. So I really like that. And in addition to that, again, nice well padded straps, you will have a sternum strap, which most duffels do not include. So I was um, glad to see those also. So next what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and get into the interior of the bag, look at some features and see what we can pack in here. Next, moving into the interior of this bag. Again, it is a duffel bag, so not a lot of features, but this does have some specific features that I absolutely love. So again, nice large opening to this bag. Um, so some things you see on some bags are gonna be maybe a mesh pocket here. This one doesn't have it, which is fine. But two things in particular I do like about the interior of the bag. Um, compression straps. 
And the only other bag I have or have looked at with compression straps as far as a duffel goes is the Patagonia Black Hole Duffel in 60 liters. So to me, it's a rarity to see compression straps in a duffel bag. I absolutely love this. Whether you choose to use these or not, I love the fact you have the option to use these or to not use them. I, I love the, the, the flexibility and versatility of that. Also, if you look in the bottom of the bag here, there is a small mesh pocket. And again, not very large, but it does just give you the ability to, uh, if you need to keep something separate here, you have that option. So again, I love a bag that gives you options whether you choose to use those or not. So also remember this is a 40 liter bag and uh, 40 liters to me is some very, very nice usable space. So as always, I do have my Eagle Creek packing cubes. These are size medium. Um, and the first one I have here is going to have four pair of rolled hiking pants. Start there. And I have a second Eagle Creek packing cube. This is actually one of their clean, dirty bags. Again, size medium. And just showing when I squeeze this in here what this looks like. You're, you're going to see there's actually quite a bit of additional room in here. So we'll go ahead. And at least one in here, I'm going to go ahead and compress this down. And if I wanted to throw something even on top of this, we have that ability. But again, I like to be able to compress and also just the fact it keeps your items in place for the most part without them shifting is another huge benefit. So I'll have a small Eagle Creek packing cube here. And toiletry bag you can just throw in here and if you want to throw a bag with some cords cables chargers things like that easily go in umbrella and so that's what it's gonna look like to me probably even throw a jacket in here especially like a puffy or even a, a lightweight jacket I think would easily fit in here so again zip this up And again, show what this looks like. And this easily fits all that that we just looked at here. So some very, very nice usable space in this bag. So next what we'll do is I wanna throw this on my back just to show what that looks like. And also just give some final thoughts and impressions on this bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on my back. And I am around five foot nine, approximately 200 pounds. And to me, this is one of the most comfortable bags I've ever tried on, be it a travel backpack or a duffel. Absolutely love the way these shoulder straps feel and I love the addition of the sternum strap. So again, like I said to begin with, very few times, especially recently, have I received a bag, took it out, looked at it, and just been as impressed as I have been with this bag. So it's a bag that I've gotten some questions about recently. People. Uh, seem like they're really interested in getting more information about this bag. So it really piqued my interest and I thought there must be something behind this. Um, but again, I've looked at quite a few bags and you get the bag and yeah, it's a nice bag. It's got some nice features, but overall nothing stands out. But to me, I absolutely love this bag. Um, I was trying to find some cons of the bag just to kind of throw out there. Really the only thing I can think of is the handles on the sides of the bag here. Um, the only thing, and like I said, this is so minor, is that to me there doesn't need to be any kind of padding. So you can see there's a little thickness to this, um, just a little bit of padding in there. To me it's not necessary. Um, I would be fine with just a single kind of piece of material here as a handle. But other than that, again, that's so minor. I, I can't find anything else wrong with this bag. Um, I absolutely love this bag. And um, I was trying to figure out if you watch some of my other videos, you know I absolutely love the North Face Base Camp Duffel Series. Probably my favorite uh, duffel line out there. Um, 
this one is so close to that. Um, the additional features of this bag really kind of make it stand out, the material it's made out of. Um, really everything I complain about on other bags, this bag actually has. So that's what makes it so unique as far as having handles on all sides of the bag, having the ability to put a shoulder strap if you did want to use that, having the internal compression straps, which again is, is rare on a duffel bag, um, being able to hide your backpack straps or even having a sternum strap. Um, all this just make this an outstanding duffel bag. And I'm really surprised that more people or more reviews or more information is not out there about this bag because to me it's almost a hidden gem. Um, so hopefully you can tell that I, I really like this bag and actually I highly recommend this bag. If you're in the market for a travel backpack or especially a duffel bag um, that you can travel with, you definitely need to check this out. And again, this is a 40 liter bag. It comes in around $110. But if you look at sites like ebags.com, a lot of times Osprey is going to be bags that are gonna be discounted or at least a percentage off. Um, so if you get this bag any cheaper than that, I think it's an absolute steal. Um, so this, uh, it's extremely close. Um, and, and if I do get that question, is this one or the base camp duffel uh, better or do you like it better? That's an extremely hard question to answer um, because I love this bag, absolutely. And I am so glad that I did decide to go ahead and look at this because again, this has been on my wish list, but again, it was one of those bags I'll look at later. Um, so again, very, very surprised, but it's been a nice surprise with this bag. Uh, so as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe. If you have this bag, I would love to hear your comments and your thoughts on it. Um, but if you have any other questions or comments, as always, I'd absolutely love to hear from you. So again, thank you so much.